Got no utensils, just using. Mm. Now all the nine packs is there now. So this is what you call pancit. It is the same terminology all over the Philippines. Pancit. Farmer Willie is starting to put tree rocks and proper firewood. So there's Farmer Willie. He always dress up when he's cooking. Wrap his head because that's why people around the neighborhood, especially around where we are in Pulang Bato, when he's the one doing the cooking, they always hire him because he is just wrap his hair, got apron on. So I'll be showing you how he does his cooking so this video is about pancit alawili the noodles you know when there is birthday here in the philippines one of the um, recipes that will you will never miss when there's occasion is noodles we call pancit so there he is pork um strip pork already been pre-cooked to take out all the pots and now he's putting it on the cauldron <laughs> to cook it again but he already pre-cooked that to clean out all the parts away what pa dey lamas ni will ah cuz he will just make it um until it's like a little bit brown before he start the mixing of the what's this spices so now there's she put some teaspoon of salt second teaspoon so this is like cooking for 10 to 12 people even 15 because they will just leave more for tomorrow so he's now putting some more salt asin ya po na asukar so a little bit of asukar means sugar so he put a little bit of sugar as well on the pork so there's a little bit of sugar then kana asin and then kato din gani na asin man to kamay kamay de kato gani na primero ba oh so that's so the first one by the way that was monosodium glutamate so there he is stirring up his pork so they're practicing these two kids for grilling so there they just put some three rocks and then chop some wood on the side so he will simmer it until it's a little bit brown then he puts some more um ingredients now he's fanning the flames now that it's browning the pork has been browning so they start putting the garlic that's the garlic crush garlic crush garlic and then make it brown as well now that it's browning the pork has been browning so they start putting the garlic that's the garlic crush garlic
crushed garlic and then make it brown as well so now the garlic is brown he's putting in the edge of the scallions you know not the green part but the edge on the bottom the whiter ones because they want to brown that one first as well so it's like crispy and also for the purpose of like the actual flavor of the scallion and the garlic will m mix with the pork so the pork continues to go brown and the little bit of oil that come out with it like i said it was pre-cooked that is the one that's so that's the uh, like a shootis we call it but there's actually another fruit here that colors the fruit into red oh the food into red you used to color food ashwetes now it's become red so they can you continue steering it so it will be even so that's one tablespoon of asuetes one teaspoon of two teaspoon of garlic and two teaspoon of spring scallion now they put some water that's all the water container of old B, the empty ones and then put more water and bring it to a boil they were estimating it because uh, the dried noodles is about two kilos dried noodles of two, three two sorts the rice noodles and then the proper egg noodles so that will bring it to a boil and then before they put on the vegetables now they start fanning the firewood because they add more water they are also putting more flavorings monosodium glutamate salt and a little bit of sugar same um, monosodium one teaspoon one tablespoon salt and one tablespoon one teaspoon sugar that's sugar uh, three three teaspoon sugar and one tablespoon salt and then continue to stir it up until it's boiling so Willie is now tasting it you can see that he taste that one and put it on his spoon that's how the way she cook it and then put one more teaspoon of salt he don't want to put more salt because you know the noodles they got a little bit of salt on it yeah the rice now the egg noodles just a bit salty so you need to balance it out otherwise you'll have a very salty noodles dish so this is the one that he gonna mix when the vegetable go in then he will mix this is bihon rice noodles and then the egg noodles so got 10 10 packs of this rice noodles and then and that's the fresh noodles egg noodles so now the cold drone uh, willy is started to boil so he put in the carrots and asang ripulyo na na oh only the carrots to soften it up a little bit and now they're preparing to for the noodles to put in to absorb all the liquid because as you can see the rice noodles are dried type they're opening up the packet there with their knife Oh, God. 
Oh, Isood na lang na eh. So they'll put the rice noodle first because it's the dried type. And the egg, egg noodles that they had is the fresh type. The fresh type needs to be soaked in water first so to wash out all the any <coughs> film, salty film that comes with uh, fresh noodles. Unless you're the one making the noodles. Usually the one in commercial, the fresh noodles is a bit salty. Like a film of salt with it now the beans at put the cabbage together with the rice noodles so there's like nine packs of oh. got no utensils just using <laughs> Mm. Now all the nine packs is there now. So this is what you call pancit. It is the same terminology all over the Philippines. Pancit. So different styles of cooking pancit. He got no proper utensils. Look. <laughs> Just using the plates. I told him just to make it soak a bit. Yes. Mm. Soaking. Soaking the sauce. Mm. Um, the liquid is now started to evaporate or soak by the rice noodles. Mm. Mukwan naman ang iwili, mabungkag raw nag-iya. I said, just leave it. It will just separate by itself when it start absorbing the water. I mean, the sauce. Ang may na ay, nanasad sa baka. Oo. Bobo itong pansit. Then now, the wash rice noodles. Egg noodles. Mm. So that's what the egg noodles now. So there. Then the liquid will start disappearing soon. And then the li li green leaves of the scallion will be put on top the last bit. <laughs> Or the spring onions. Now it's starting to get absorbed. They don't have the proper utensils to mix the noodles. No. All you can see now is mostly. So Julito's tasting the mix it says perfect he's saying that Willie knows his cooking so the last part will be the green leaves of the spring onions or scallions so that's the thing with pancit or noodles dish, you keep on stirring it up. So he's trying to taste the noodles itself. There. That's the last part. They just pulling out some of the wood so it will simmer. A simmer. 
Bastarong kito sa loko. Tugbangi ri kunto. Mangi na guys. Nintong. Ah. Adto tadi ko yo. So the cook now. They will just stir. Stir it here. So the noodles won't get soggy. Tapos timpla rong ko. Pansit. Always with occasion here in the Philippines. Expect to see a noodle dish. Because most Filipinos, like lechon, is expecting that on a. Mostly is pansit because lechon is like if you're like uh, a little bit rich or you got extra money, that's when you can have lechon. But pansit, even it's a small occasion, not a big kind of party, always is present. Pansit. But the modern ways now, they have spaghetti. Because it's easier to cook spaghetti than the pansit. The pansit is requires your skills that you can actually adjust the noodle that the noodles won't be soggy you can adjust the noodles that the flavorings that you had will be all over the whole dish ayos na kabuha gamay ra kay na din din kanya na lang so they gonna have to transfer this because they're gonna cook another they just borrowed this from another neighbor so the big kawali or the cauldron I call it so but I know so the pancit is now cooked so the verdict I just had a taste of this on a plate the pancit of farmer Willie. Noodles a la Willy. Really nice.